Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another problem of the week and let's get right into it. Calcium hydroxide reacts with phosphoric acid to produce calcium phosphate and water. Write a chemical equation, balance it, and classify the reaction. All right, get out your periodic tables, get out your polyatomic ion handouts, and if you need a copy of that, you can go get it for free at the URL at the bottom of this page. And let's go to the magic blackboard. First thing we want to do is write an equation. Calcium hydroxide reacts with phosphoric acid to produce calcium phosphate and water. Calcium hydroxide, CaOH2. And we have to make sure we have two OHs there because it has to balance out with the positive calcium. Then we have our phosphoric acid, which gives us our calcium phosphate and our water. And there's our equation. Now what you have to remember here, in order to do a good equation, you have to know how to write formulas, ionic and covalent formulas. You've got to know how to do that. And so if you're not sure how to do that, or if you're trying to do these without that skill, go back to uh, my YouTube channel, find the lessons on nomenclature, and go through them. You've got to get this down. Well, we realize it's not balanced, so let's balance it. Notice we have a three calcium and only one calcium on the left side. So then let's go ahead and put three there. Now remember, you could only change the coefficients. Now notice phosphate, we want to treat polyatomic ions as one unit and we have two phosphates. And over here on the left side, we only have one phosphate. So let's change the coefficient. And we note that we are balanced in our calcium and our phosphates. Now I started with calcium phosphate because to me that was the most complex compound and I usually start with the most complex. Now notice we have two uh, times three, there's six hydrogens and over here we have another two times three, six hydrogens and even six oxygens and so we have 12 hydrogens and six oxygens that we need to balance out and it just so happens that water will allow us to do that if we put a six right there. Now if you look at everything it's balanced. And so now we have a balanced equation. So we've written a, an equation for this. We've balanced it. And now we want to tell what type of reaction is it. What type of reaction is this? Well, guys, it's double replacement. Note that you have the OH switching places with the PO4. And you have hydrogen combining with the OHs. So we have a double replacement. As usual, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Don't uh, forget to check out Mr. Kazi's world and check out the PowerPoint videos and much, much more. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy Island.